Okay, so we're going to do the full can and empty can test uh, to test for supraspinatus tear and supraspinatus tendon tear and impingement. So I get Hannah to move her um, into 20 degrees of flexion. That's it. Um, we move it into that position there. It's a position called scaption, which is the least line of resistance in the glenohumeral joint um, and the best way to test our supraspinatus. So the test is called full can and empty can. We're asking Hannah to imagine that she's holding a full can of drink in her hand and she's going to move into that upward movement or abduction to test supraspinatus. And I ask if there's any pain reproduced there. And you're going to do that again and then I'm going to apply a little bit of resistance against that to see if that provokes any further symptoms of her pain. Okay, just relax. And then I'm going to get you to turn your hand over so you're internally rotating or medially rotating uh, at the glenohumeral joint and this is the position of empty can test. So thumb down and you're going to do that same movement again, a position of scaption, pinky leading and we're asking for any reproduction of pain there and then I'm going to do that again with a resisted movement there. And that one um, is probably more provoking for the supraspinatus tendon. When we turn the hand down, um, we're changing the position of the head of the humerus in the, the glenoid cavity. So it's more provoking uh, for reproduction of pain in that supraspinatus tendon. So that's full can empty hand test. <laughs> 